Hello everyone, Nick here. This is a, another one take unedited video. Um, this is um, being recorded on Saturday the 31st of October 2020. It's Halloween. Um, unfortunately, due to lockdown restrictions, there's not likely to be many trick-or-treaters out tonight. And it seems that there's less decorations up um, than usual, so the holiday spirit is dying down. But that's not what this video is talk talking about. That, um, the fact that there's not much Hall uh, Halloween stuff going on um, due to restrictions. That's honestly, I mean, normally that, that doesn't sound very good. But compared to the news we've learnt, that's honestly um, like you're getting sweet. That's like getting a sweet um, st um, style bad news um, as opposed to a kick in the teeth. Um, um, <clears throat> uh, sweets as a um, never mind, maybe no, another time. Sorry for the actually, you know what? So you can hear me because <clears throat> uh, my dad's doing something upstairs. Um, so you can hear me. I don't know if you can for all those buzzsaw noises. Um, I was trying to have the position so you'd see the James Bond poster behind me, but so you can hear me. Hey, how's that? <clears throat> Um, the sad news um, that I bring you today, um, for all Bond fans and for um, film fans, is the passing of actor Sir Sean Connery, who of course played um, James Bond in the first five and seventh James Bond films produced by Eon Productions and Never Say Never Again, which was not produced by Eon Productions, uh, as well as being a notable actor in many other films such as Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade where he was the best thing in that movie and that was a film with a lot of amazing stuff happening in it uh, lots of um, brilliant stuff in that but even with a film with so much good in it um, Sean Connery was still the best thing of it so the best of the best I suppose as well as the film The Hunt for Red October where he was um played them uh his character was actually the main character even though that's part of the jack ryan film series um oh. with alec baldwin in, in the title role with that film um but that is a notable sean connery film as is the untouchables where he won an oscar i believe his best supporting actor and highlander the first one not the um not the critically pan um critically and university hated second film not sure what the rest of the others are like i haven't seen any of them but uh, apparently he was really great in highlander um, so he's really rec uh, well recognised. Also, he had a very nice cameo at the end of Robin Hood, Prince of Thieves, uh, where he reprised his role of Robin Hood, which he previously played in the film Robin and Marion. <clears throat> um, and yeah, he's a very well. He was a very well. Yeah, he is a very well known actor and very well respected. And um, been in a lot of notable films, even a few ones that not many people uh, like. And um, he was still a notable part of their films, those films, and sometimes. Um, uh, one of the better things, not all of them, but some of the better things. Uh, I've not seen all of the ones he's, all of the films he's been in, but he's, I've seen a few. Uh, besides Bond and Indiana Jones, seen Red Hunt for Red October, Prince of Thieves, might have seen Robin and Marion a, a while ago, and a film about um, Sean Connery playing a character who robs a train, not the tr uh, the train, the Great Train Robbery, not um, any related um, to the. Um, to the 1963 uh, his, uh, train robbery in um, real life, but a story by Michael Crichton that was set during the, I think the Victorian or Edwardian eras, or uh, not early 20th century at least, uh, but certainly unrelated to the 1963 great train robbery. Um, but yeah, I've seen that film, could have a better ending, but mostly it was mostly good. Um, Connery was definitely great in that. Um, and... Yeah, but he will always, of course, be remembered for being the first film actor to play James Bond. Of course, Barry Nelson was the first actor to play James Bond in the 1954 Casino Royale climax episode. And there was probably a few uh, radio act. There might have been a few radio actors um, before 1962. I'm not sure if any of the Bond films actually got radio adaptations, uh, books got radio adaptations before 1962. We've definitely had several in the 2000s um, after, two, well, after 2000, I think. Um, but yeah, for the film actors, Sean Connery was the first and highly regarded as one of the best. And in terms of objectiveness, yes, yeah. Um, I do prefer Tim. Uh, I think Timothy Dal Timothy Dalton is my favourite. I think I might also prefer Craig and Br Broughton and Craig. But as you know, Connery would probably be top three. Um, in terms of ob object objectively, 
Um, Comrie would be number two in subject to the maybe number uh, three or four. Um, for me, that's personal. Personal, but he um, was absolutely fantastic in all of the films, apart from *The Only Live Twice*, where he was very bored with that one, and to a lesser extent *Diamonds Are Forever*. But he certainly had some more enthusiasm, enthusiasm for that role, and for the role in that film. The same for *Never Seen Ever Again*. But certainly in the first four Bond films, he was amazing, especially in *Goldfinger*. Where that was probably the best Bond performance by any Bond actor, although Daniel Craig does come close with Skyfall and Timothy Dalton overall comes also very close. Um, but Connery is certainly just absolutely amazing. Um, also loved him in Indiana Jones as well. That was uh, that performance. <laughs> you should have got an Oscar for that film as well. If you got it for the Untouchables, you should have got it for Indiana Jones and the Last Crusades as well. Absolutely brilliant. So, yeah, Sean, Sean Connery, Sir Sean Connery, we will miss you. Thank you for being an amazing actor. Thank you for being the first James Bond. And thank you for all your other film roles and TV roles and other roles you have done over the years. As well as also being um, an advocate, I believe is the word, for uh, a, sc a charity in um, Scotland for uh, Scottish actors and performers. Um, and also being a proud Scotsman. So... Uh, many Scots will miss him uh, as well. I'm English and I'm missing him. Um, so he was a, a great guy. Um, so once again, thank you, uh, Sir Sean. Thank you very much. Um, that's it from this uh, tribute um, discussion news video today. Thank you for watching. Hope you have a a better Halloween under the circumstances and a, a better day general. Um, yeah, and uh, I'll see you guys next time, uh, whatever that is. Goodbye.